Greetings, everyone. Marvin Ford with Great American Survival. This week, we're doing a special review, the Alpha Outpost October box. Yes, it's the first part of November, but hey, I can't help it when I got the box. All right. Stick with us, and we'll show you what they sent us, guys. All right, guys, I'm glad you stayed with us. Um, this is really cool. Uh, the last month's box was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Um, this is the second month. This is the Alpha Outpost October Predator box. Um, it has a very cool little handout with some really cool um, pictures and explaining, you know, how to operate certain things, which I won't spoil it by telling you what this says because that tells you what's in here. But I will show you pictures right here. So with that, as you see, you get an idea of what they sent us. First off, they sent us the SOG Spirit. This is a spear, guys. This is really cool. I don't have a spear. This is awesome. I don't have one. Um, you could use it as a knife in a in you know worst case scenario. But the way they have this set up with everything else they sent us, if you took your bag from EDC bag from a couple months ago, and then you took last week's last month's wilderness bag, which has the whoopee, the hammock, you know, and you'd be really set up between all that you'd have a pretty good setup for your gear for you know bugging out or just camping out but um this thing's really cool because it unthreads from here and you can whittle down a branch and rub it in here and twist it in and actually get it to see and then it's got a, th a little set screw that you could run in and tighten i don't know how you're supposed to do that if you didn't have a knife but um you run it in and you know then you could attach it but you could also lash it with some paracord and the way it's the way as wide as it is you could easily lash that to a branch or a, make a spear out of it whatever you wanted that's really cool it's got a really cool nylon cape nylon sheath and um, it's got a really good snap so it's not gonna just fall off and it's in there really well not bad guys not bad at all Um, does send you a warning saying caution what's in here can hurt you okay um, this was one thing this was this was the one thing I didn't think was cool um, they showed other people got boxes that had the little green patch that said predator thought that was pretty cool but we got another alpha, alpha outpost patch that's still cool they didn't have to give us one um, next they sent us a body trap this is a spring-loaded body trap guys you squeeze this together this thing folds up. I'm not putting my finger near it right now. Uh, that's awesome. It's got a good retainer. It's got a good retainer chain, good grounding chain. Uh, easy to tie up and use this. You could easily provide some food for yourself in an emergency with this. Um, this is really cool. This is good size game. I mean, this right here, you could, put, you could I, I spent a lot of time growing up with my grandfather in South Dakota, and we'd spent some time trapping. This right here can catch some good sized animal. Not just small stuff. I mean, you could pulverize some bit, some small stuff, but you could catch all kinds of, you know, what they consider small game. You know, raccoons, foxes, coyotes, anything like that, which can easily be turned into meat beaver. Um, that's nice. That's a nice body trap, guys. So far, they've sent us a spear, body trap and a patch not bad $40 box they've already sent a spear that when it first came out I, I almost bought one of these things but they were like 60 bucks now they're a little cheaper still not bad still a really cool product and um, the next thing they sent us they sent us three of these they're called Ghost Rider cable snares these are really nice guys really nice these are not the little ones. I have some of the little fine piano wire kind of snares. These are heavy duty, dude. I mean, guys, these are really nice. Um, they've got great swivels and great anchor points, which is what makes a, for good traps, guys. This is what makes for good snares. There's a good anchor, so when you tie it off or anchor it down, when the animal pulls on it, it just spins inside of it freely. It's got these little nylon 
um, sleeves that keep it from binding up on itself. And um, it's got good guides and um, just heavy duty cable. It's really nice, guys. They sent us three of those. These are probably, I don't know, they're probably seven, eight bucks a piece. They got three of those, that's 24 bucks, just those. Then you got what everything else they sent us. That's awesome. But they didn't stop there. I'm not trying to be a cheerleader, guys, but this is really cool. I really like this box, you know? Um, they sent us a task force. It's a karambit. Nice. I like it. This is not a normal pocket knife, okay? It's a karambit. Man, that's nice. I have a really nice fox karambit, and I love it. You know, it's just a great knife, guys. So they sent us a really cool karambit pocket knife. I was disappointed because I saw somebody else open their box and they got a real nice neck one. Nicer, fixed blade, good good stature, just a really nice knife. This is still really nice though. I still like it. And uh, they send you a little handout book which shows you how to stake out, how to tie things. And it's really neat because it shows you how high to tie certain things. Bobcat, coyote, how high you want it off the ground to get where their head is, uh, foxes and raccoons. And um, very cool, guys, very cool. I like it. But they didn't stop there. It didn't end it there, guys. They sent us an extra box. They sent us one for me to give away. So I'm going to. We're gonna do another giveaway. I just did a giveaway. I just ended it last week. Um, I got another one going on right now that ends tomorrow. So, wow. This one's gonna run for three weeks. It's gonna end the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Sunday after Thanksgiving. And all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, comment below and just comment, I'm in. Easy enough. I was gonna do something creative, but I'm going to make it easy on you guys. And then I want a VR video. I haven't ever asked anybody to do VR videos, so hopefully we'll have a good turnout. If we don't, I'll keep the box myself. It'll be awesome. But um, do a VR video. And what I want a VR video of is I want you to show me or talk to me about. You can talk. You don't have to do a demonstration. You can just talk to me and tell me what you think is your favorite scout survival skill. Uh, pioneering which is, you know, not tying, lashing, shelter building, bushcraft, whatever you want to show me, guys. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's, it's going to be cool. Um, if you want to show me how to use some of these snares and traps, go for it. I love to see that. I love how other people, when it comes to trapping, trapping is a very personal thing. I know so many people growing up that did it so differently, and it, all, it, it still worked. Some people like to do it off small branches. Some people used to like to do... Um, holes in fences, like barbed wire fences and stuff. They all worked. They all got good results. Um, but anything along those lines, guys, show me some skills. Show me your show me your outdoor skills or just tell me about them. If you're not wanting to do a VR video where you don't want to get out there and do a demonstration, you don't have to. Just tell me about it. Just But be, be detailed about it. You know, talk to me about it. Um, I think it's cool. I'm trying to get where I have a better relationship with more and more of you and I've enjoyed it. The last giveaway I got to, spend, got to know there are four more guys in, in my community that I didn't know before that. So I'm looking forward to doing that some more with these. Um, just show me your VR. Put it in the link below with your wherever you put your comment that says I'm in. Just put it in that link and link it to it. And we'll do it. Three weeks after, from now, last sun, the Sunday after Thanksgiving. I'll put the date across here. Check it out, guys. I hope you guys get involved in this. I hope we all have a huge turnout and we have a lot of fun with it. I'll give the box away, man. We'll send it to somebody. And me and I have no stake in this box, and there's nothing explosive or anything like this. I'll, I'll, I'll open this up to anybody that wants to do it. If you live in Canada, feel free. Put in for this, and I'll ship it to you. I don't have anything in it, so if it costs me a little more to ship it, I don't really mind. Get out there. Enjoy yourself. Be prepared. Stay safe. God bless. We'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya.